If elected, what would you do to help continue to promote job growth and grow Florida's economy? I think we want to make our state more winsome. And to do that, we need to make sure we continue building up and maintaining our infrastructure. Our roads, our airports, our ports, they need to be first class and first rate to be able to encourage industry and other businesses into our state. Next thing we need to do is keep our taxes low and regulations reasonable so we encourage more businesses to come to our state. And we also have to make sure our environment is clean and to the point where people will want to come and enjoy the lifeblood of our state, which is our water and the beautiful climate that we have here. How would you improve Florida's health care situation? Health care is, is something that people, particularly in our state, is very, very important. Primarily because we have a lot of retirees that are older. Older people, by and large, have more disease processes. To improve our health care, we need to have a better control of our insurance industry and make sure that we don't have limited narrow networks that would restrict access. We also have to have more oversight on our insurance agencies and our insurance industry to be sure that people have the, the actual care and the provisions of care that they actually have contracted with. And I would actually propose a strip on everyone's insurance card that when they go to a provider, they know what services are covered, what deductible has been met, and what is actually approved for that particular plan that whatever that particular individual might carry. Another thing we need to do in healthcare is we need to start incorporating molecular diagnostic tests into the panel of approved tests that we have for our state. It's important that we have a better idea of how we can prevent disease as opposed to just treating it. Because if we're ever going to bend the healthcare curve, we need to create a healthier society. The last thing we can do to improve healthcare in our state is to have the ability to purchase insurance across state lines and also expand health care savings accounts. I think that's a very important thing that we need to work on as a legislature. What challenges do you see in Florida's K-12 education system? And if elected, what would you do to address those challenges? Our education system is basically facing two main challenges today. There's a cultural issue that we have that's developed over the last generation where we've coddled our kids. And unfortunately, we've done them no good service by doing that because we basically fostered a generation that seems to be more entitled, indifferent, and apathetic. Postponing gratification, concentrated study are also foreign to them because they've lost that ability to face those difficult challenges early on in their life. So I would have us as a society try to approach those challenges and make our children more responsible for their education. And that needs to start early on. I'm also for universal school choice. I think it's important that we expand our voucher program and give parents the opportunity and the privilege to choose whatever school that they feel and deem appropriate for their child. I'd like to see our schools have more vocational education both skills training and jobs training early on where children can actually have a good experience either in an apprenticeship and an internship and perhaps some public-private partnerships where they can have that experience and learn how to grow in that particular field that they have a desire maybe to actually pursue later on in their life. I also feel like we need to decentralize our education system some we need to take away the bureaucracy that is restricting our teachers. We need to stop assessing performance where that assessing system seems to be counterproductive to education. We need to empower our principals. We need to allow them to have more authority in their schools and provide them the resources and the advanced education that they need to be better administrators and better at actually devising curriculum that would be better for the children going forward. Ralph Masulo, I'm running for the House District 34 as a Republican. My website is www.ralph4u.com.